Yeah. So okay, Bhavani. Yeah. So hello. Uh, right. So I see. yeah. So now you tell me about yourself first. Hi, sir. Good, good afternoon, sir. My name is Bhavani, and I'm from Hyderabad. And um, I completed my I have completed my graduation from Holy Mary Institute of Technology and Science in the stream of electronics and communication engineering. Uh, with 7.1 CGPA and I have completed my schooling and intermediate from state boards um, with 94 percentage and um, I learned AWS from Udemy and I learned, I learned Python from Magnic Software Solutions Hyderabad and uh, I'm a AWS certified cloud practitioner and um, my future goal is to become a cloud developer and and I want to solve programming problems with programming my programming skills, and uh, my hobbies are gardening and uh, explore new skills. That follow with me. Thank you for giving me so. Okay, that's nice. Uh, it's a nice introduction. Right. Okay. So, like uh, as you mentioned about Python, so I uh, will be asking you like few questions on Python. Okay. Uh, so right. Yes. Okay. So are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Then uh, yeah. So first, uh, you tell me what you know about Python. So can you simply tell me Python in brief? What is Python? Python? Is a, yeah. Python is a high-level programming language. Mm -hmm. uh, it is easy to write, and uh, the syntax of Python is very understandable for beginners. And uh, uh, it is a cost free of cost. And Python has uh, inbuilt modules and libraries, and uh, Python has inbuilt functions. Um, by using Python, we can easily develop any applications. We can easily use Python. Okay, so yes, that is good, right? Okay, so uh, I think uh, are you uh, idea? You have idea about ID tools in Python? Yes, sir. So, uh, what are the various ID tools uh, you can use for Python? Ideally, shell, Jupyter notebook, PyCharm. PyDroid for uh, Android mobiles and uh, Visual Studio. Okay, so which one you have used most? Ideally, sir, I used Jupyter and Python also, sir. Okay, so what's the difference you find between uh, Jupyter and Idle, Idle Shell? Any specific differences are there? You find any difference between those two? At least one or two? In Jupyter, we can execute program line by line, sir. No, in ideal, it, it is it is we, line by and line by line happens everywhere because yes, Python sir. is basically interpreted, right? Yeah. So, do you think any usage like you know can I use idle in online mode? Is it possible? No, sir. No, na. So that is one difference. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. That's fine. That's not an issue. Right. So Python has a lot of good features, right? So can you tell me some of the features of Python? Python is easy to use and it's scalable term. Mm -hmm. And it's flexible. We can run, we can execute Python programs in any operating system easily. And uh, it's a portable. We can transfer Python code from one device to another device easily. And it's a high level programming language. Uh, it is a user friendly and uh, it is dynamically typed language. And uh, Accessible, oh. accessible to DB is easy and it so, is a uh, embeddable. That's fine. That's fine. So it seems you are uh, good with the features of Python. Okay. So let's, let's uh, enter a little uh, in depth into Python. Okay. Right. So when you, uh, the moment, uh, if you want, if your program is written, then you have to save, right? You have to save the file. So what is the extension that we use for Python files? Dot .py, sir. Dot .py is the extension for Python files. Okay, that is fine. So now, for example, uh, I want to create a, a variable. Okay, so I want to create, in fact, multiple variables. So how many ways I can create? How many ways I can create? Two methods, a single. Uh -huh. uh, tell me what are they? Multiple, multiple variables. We can create a multiple variables at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so by assigning multiple values. Okay, so one variable at a time and multiple variables at a time. That's what you want to tell me. You want to say, right? Yeah. 
that's fine so do you have idea on uh, identity of a variable what exactly identity means yes sir id sir and a memory location it's a location of where that uh, variable is stored okay right uh, okay right so like you know for any uh, programming language data types are very important okay so can you name a few the few data types that are uh, used in python in python we have numbers listed couple dictionary set frozen set byte and byte array and double array okay very good okay so uh, do are do you have idea on operators python operators yeah so can you tell me uh, what do you mean by like you know um identity operators what are identity, identity operators? is uh and is not okay. is an identity operator uh mm -hmm. if the id <clears throat> id of an, uh, one variable and the id of an, a second next uh, second variable is equal then the then the function returns true sir okay that is called identity so means yes. var variables will be compared but with respect to their identity right okay uh, that's right. Okay. So, what other types of operators you have used during your course? Arithmetic operator, logical operators, relational operators, identity operators, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, membership operators. You might be using membership operators. Yeah. Yes, membership operator, yeah. bitwise operator. Okay. Right. Okay. So, generally, you know, do you, do you have idea on programming constructs? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay. Right. So, we have like, you know, Con let us go to conditional constructs once okay so for example if i want to incorporate a condition multiple conditions i want to incorporate so tell me which construct i need to use elif sir elif, elif right. okay sir. so uh, yeah can you can you show an example code for that how you will use elif okay so i think you have to share your screen for that no problem It's showing disable sir. One moment, I'll enable that. So uh, you are the host now, so now you can share your screen. Now you take any file, you can edit that, no problem. Uh, no need to create a new file and save it. Just you take some example file, later you can. Yeah, you comment that. Yeah, put triple quotes, triple, uh, triple quotes you put. Uh, remove the dash, remove the dash. Mm. Yeah, now here also we put, yeah, that is good, right? Okay, All right, now you can write your code here. So show me one example uh, to demonstrate a lift. Okay, then
Okay, so this is what you want to show. Fine. So if uh, a is greater than one, uh, you're printing it as a positive number, then uh, zero, zero. Otherwise, you have to want to printing like a negative number. Okay, so no issue. That's 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 it's fine, right? Okay, so now, uh, like you know, uh, you have a functions in Python. Yes, sir. Okay, can you tell me what are the uh, classification of functions? Functions are classified into three types, sir. Inbuilt functions, user-defined functions, and lambda functions, sir. Inbuilt okay. functions are provided by Python, uh, and the user-defined functions, which functions are defined by users, are called as user-defined functions. And uh, lambda functions are anonymous functions and single-line functions, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, like, you know, uh, I want, uh, you know, I want to check whether a number is, uh, like, you know, prime number or not. So can you create a function for that user defined function? Just show me syntax. So I want to pass only one value. Okay. You can delete, you can delete that. No issue. Yeah. You can delete that previous thing. Right. You create a function. Uh, Prime condition, sir. Yeah, you want you want to write a prime condition there. It's fine. Oh no issue. Syntactically, that is. Correct. I forgot okay. the prime condition, sir. That's that's not an issue. Just I am asking you syntax like how what is the syntax of user defined function? Uh, that is fine. Okay. Uh, that is correct, right? So, uh, you know, what are the advanced data types in Python? Sir. What are the advanced data types in Python? List tuple and dictionary, sir. List tuple and dictionary. Okay. So, uh, like, you know, uh, what is the mapping data type in Python? Dictionary, sir. Why it is called as a mapping data type? It's a key value pair data type, sir. By using key, we get value, sir. Okay. Right. So, see, there are two things you told list and tuple. Okay. So, like, what is the similarity in between those two? List tuple key, what is the similarity? Uh, in list, we have uh, say different data. Uh, we have elements with different data types. Uh, in top, in tuple also we have uh, elements with different data types. Okay. Any other similarities you found? Okay. So no issue. All right. So uh, list uh, is immutable. List is mutable, sir. Tuple is immutable, sir. Immutable. List is mutable. So can you show me uh, with one small maybe command or code how list is immutable? Can you show me? You're telling list is mutable. So You print that, print that list, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So, okay, so you added a new element, right? So that's why you're telling. Uh, can you do same thing with tuple? Let us see. You prove that tuple is an immutable. So now you have shown that list is mutable. Okay, if it is a tuple. No, in the next line, you do in the next line. Oh, no, one more, one more, one more quotes. One more quotes. Out of three quotes. Ah, oh, oh, no, that's correct. Right, right.
topple object has no attribute nothing so so okay fine so you cannot add that's what you want to say finally it's okay right yeah that's fine so like uh, uh, so can you write a small program to find the factorial of a number yes sir uh, yeah so i i want you to find factorial using loops okay okay sir Whether that is I n minus one or i minus one, what do you want to take? I minus one. <laughs> now let me see. Where is your n? You didn't give an in, n as an input. You have created it, but you have not given input. So you take some phi n equal to five. Okay. Initially you take. Yeah. So now let us see. Minus no, eighty six. No, it is. It should be one twenty now. Yeah. Check. There is some some problem in the logic. Mm. Yeah. yeah, now you got one and zero. Yeah. yeah. So tell me, explain your logic. What is your logic? What exactly? So if I equal to zero, so you want to return simply one. Otherwise, what so, you want to do is you want to take a factorial and you want to multiply factorial, the fact factorial into I or I minus into I or minus I minus one. one. I minus one. So if for example I is one, then what it will take? It will multiply it with zero. Na? So if I is yes, one, sir. it will multiply it with zero. So you have to do into I multiplication with I. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Oh, now sir. you got answer. One sir one twenty. Okay. Right. Good. Okay, so can you do the same thing with while loop? Is it possible? Yes, sir. Yeah, you so you alter the same code with while loop also. Okay, you write once again. You write once again. No issue. Uh, let it be. Adalaji only one. Then you write another one. Yeah, you can copy for the same value. Can you do it?
yeah okay okay bhavan it's fine that is clear that is clear right good uh yeah so can you tell me something about lambda functions lambda functions is lambda functions is also called anonymous functions and single line functions so, by using lambda function we can give a number of uh, variables but uh, we get only one expression okay right so right that's good right so uh, can you tell me what are the basic file operations file operations opening a file reading a file writing a file and closing a file okay so what is the command that will use to open a file in python which command will use can i write sir ah you can write it no problem So yeah, so you want to specify the path, complete path, then you want to specify the mode. So can you tell yeah. me what are the various modes of opening file in Python? Reading, writing. Mm -hmm. Reading in reading and binary mode. Sir. Okay. Writing, mm -hmm. read and write. Okay. Write and read and binary, sir. Okay, that is fine. Okay, so uh, do you have idea on exception handling? Yes, sir. So what what we will use? How we will handle the exceptions in Python? By using a... try accept statement. Okay, so you want to use try and accept statements. So is it possible to handle multiple exceptions with yes, one sir. one try and accept statement? We yes, sir. Is it possible? Are you sure about it? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. All right. So like you know, what is the difference? Main difference between you know object oriented programming and uh, like normal way of writing the programming in we have two types of programming sir logical and object oriented in logical we are uh, what are, we are um, focusing on logic sir in object oriented programming we are focusing on objects and its uh, behavior mm -hmm. okay so tell me which one you prefer for example the case is given so which one you prefer and why so whether you prefer a logical way of writing a program or a object oriented program so which one you prefer logical only sir logical only okay why is there any specific reason for that why means i am not uh, i am i am not learned in depth about uh, object oriented sir i okay. know the logical okay. way so right. very Okay, right now you are aware of this thing. Okay, so do you know inheritance in uh, Python? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you tell me what is inheritance? The one the, the child class is derived from the parent class. That is called as inheritance. One what class, are the types? Yeah, what are the types in inheritance? Single inheritance, multi inheritance, multi level inheritance, and hybrid inheritance. Sir. Okay, can you explain me about multi level inheritance? Yes, sir. The inheritance, sub, the child inheritance is uh, derived from another child inheritance, sub inheritance. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so thank you, Bhavani. It's, it's nice. Okay, All right. So we'll stop it. You can stop the screen sharing and you can make me host. Wait, sir. Yeah, there are uh, participants. You click on participants. I got a dot snake there. Video symbol can you click with the dots of thing? Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Bonnie. Have a good time. Okay. All right. I'm stopping the meeting.